Kai Cubers. So, you've gone and got yourself a GAN XS, and you need to know how to set it up. The instructions aren't great to follow, and it's always easy if someone can show you. So, first, there's three, three parts to it. You've got the magnets, okay? You've got three magnet strengths you can have. You've got um, these little blue pieces here. You've got light blue and dark blue. These are called, um, they call them numerical travel nuts. And then you've got a tension nut. I'll show you that in a minute. So there's three pieces. So these numerical nuts can be set in four positions. And your uh, tension nut can be set in six positions. So altogether, that's, that's a potential of 72 different positions. So 72 people could have this cube and it will be set up differently for all of them. Um, You've got to play around with yourself and decide what you want, or maybe listen to other people. You, you, you the cubes you like, the speed cube you like, and think, well, okay, if he's using these settings, I'll use them settings. Try them. If you like it, stick with it. If you think you need personalizing, personalize. And that's what this is all about. This is about personalization. We've not got to change magnets. We, um, so, the first thing, we'll do the magnets, okay? It's the most simple thing of all. And we've got magnets, and they're in here, okay? And what they are, this is probably the easiest bit to, to do. You've got four strengths. Now, the, the weakest magnet strength is the one. And you put your little finger in there. And, you, and I'll push this one down. And just click down twice. Okay. Click down. And, yeah, you can see there, there should be a little gap. Okay, there's a little gap on there. You put your finger in and you should click up twice. And you go around and you can set it and you decide what type of magnet strength you like. You know, if maybe you're not used to uh, a magnet cube, uh, maybe one on the weaker setting. But I like it on the stronger setting. Um, and what you're going to have to do, you see, you got on each of these corners, you, you go one, two, three, four, and you've got to set them on these sides and on these sides here yeah so set all them i'm going to set all of those to the strongest which is basically you don't need to take take the center out at all just yeah just put your finger in Oop, at that click yeah click it out and go around and click them all out yeah another click click that's what i like to do click them all onto the strongest one then i'll turn it over and click all the others out to the strongest setting. Okay, that's first. Next thing we want to do is take all of take all the, uh, the caps off. Okay, fingers in. Yeah, take all these caps off. This shouldn't be a problem. Um, I think I'll only do a couple because. Um, you can just go around and do them all individually yourself. And what we got is these numerical travel nuts. Okay, now there's three positions on the blue one. As I said, there's a one and a three, and there's another little thing that looks like a number, but it's not. It's um, it's like a, a zero with a with a cross through it, but it's so small you can hardly see it. And you're gonna you're gonna need a torch and glasses that I don't normally use, uh, or or something else. To see it, and the, and the zero with the line through it, you put that to what they call the pointers. And if you have a look at the pointers, there's two little pointers. And you got the you got the cube. I'm sure you got the cube. Just have a look at your own. And it's it's like a point. It's like it's like a north south on a on a compass. Okay, and you line it up. So all you got to do is push this down and twist it. Oh, and there it's come out. See, easy come out. It could change that. For one of these dark blue ones, and there's these are two and four, and the light blue ones are one and three. I like to put mine on number one. You know, I've I've seen someone I like on online. I thought, yeah, I'll just copy that, and I, I've liked it. I thought, yeah, it's fine. But you can decide, you practice, decide what you want. But when you're putting these back in, okay, this is your is your tension nut you can see a little see a little spring see a little spring in there 
okay this goes in with the bigger piece because it's it's you can see it's two different sizes yeah so the, the the wider piece goes at the top okay pop that in and we'll sort that out second next you put this in looking for the number and like i say that zero and with a cross through is where you put it in on the pointer and then you twist it to either i've got the light one so I, you've got i'm going to twist it around until it, it's pointing at either the one or the three and it'll only point it'll only point to one of them i know you've got two points on this pointer which is you know it could have made it easier to see so i'm going to turn that push it down and twist it into place and so that's in on number one so my little pointer probably probably really find it hard to see this but have a look at your cube and make sure the pointer is pointed to the one or the three or the or the dark ones the two or the four um four is is a uh, great attention in and they've got a little chart you know you'll see a little chart on your uh, centerpiece control on on your descriptions but i've got i'll set all mine up to number one the pointer is pointing to number one on all of them okay and you just go around and do that individually to all of them now another thing that's quite confusing is you've got this once you've set once you've set this uh, numerical travel nut um i suggest you do them all all the nuts first and then go around and set up the tension nut which is the springy bit and you've got this little tripody thing pokery thing but it works quite it works quite well um you just put it in and these little little prods go on you know in the little gaps you put it in the gaps and you can twist it and it tells you that you can only twist it anti-clockwise and there's six clicks there's always six positions position the first position really is a zero and you twist it you twist it listen you can listen to this right that's that's popped up now great thing is I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that the numerical travel nut is sitting proud. And then that happens. So then when I try and twist this now, I'll twist it to the left. And we've got four and it jumped up again. So you may get this cube and think, oh, I've only twisted this four. I've got a dodgy cube. It's meant to have six settings. I've only got four. Well, what happens quite a lot is on that last setting, it jumps up and then jumps down again. It'll either jump down one or two. And you think oh, I've got five, I've only got five clicks, or I've only got four clicks, and I should have six clicks. But look, what you've got to look, it's not now, it's still still a bit proud. You can do it, it, it won't break it. I've done this lots of times. You turn it clockwise, right? And it pops up. And then you can see. There we go. I've done that twice now. So that was obviously that obviously jumped down twice. And now you can really see. But it's flush it's completely flush so your numerical travel nut and your tension nut are both flush okay so now you know they're flush and yeah now you know they're at that position so now you know you got you got to pick a number how much do you want to tension it and again it's it's personal preference but whatever you pick on if you pick number two or you pick number four i pick number four um i'm going to click it four but i'm going to make sure they're all clicked to number four but to do that, you've got to you've got to make sure you're starting in the right position, which is nice and flush. Yeah, both them, both them nuts and the uh, well, both nuts are, are, are both flush on the top. And now I'm going to turn it four times. See if you can hear this. Four. Okay. Now I'm going to make sure. I'm just going to do it on one more. This one over here. I'll do this one because I know I've set all my others up to four. I'm going to click it until it jumps up. heard that yeah that big click but again it's, it's clicked up and jumped down so i'll carry on doing it anti-clockwise like they say five you heard that yeah so again it's jumped down again it's jumped down too so this one so i'm going to turn it clockwise to get it up right yeah so that was jumping down twice on its last move it jumped to the top and dropped itself down twice so now got it flush again right nice and flush the two nuts now i'm going to do four moves Right, one thing left to do is put your caps back on. Okay. 
Okay. Right, that's that on. That's that on. And the only other thing to do, I've not actually got my lube with me at the minute, but if you want to, you want to leave these, easy to pull it aside like that and um, stick some stick some lube in there. Um, and then we'll have a little check. Yeah, working, working, just as I like it. That is how to set up the GAN XS Cube. Okay, till next time, Cubers. I've been Cubist 2, you've been fantastic.